How are we all doing guys? Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Binance application. Now, the reason that I'm showing you this on mobile is the majority of people use mobile. And, you know, obviously, if you're using a desktop version, it's going to be very similar layout. But for the purposes of this video, I think it's a lot easier to show people how to use the Binance app. You've always got it with you no matter where you are. If you want to buy something, if you want to sell something, you've got the ability to do that on the move, which makes sense. So... If you download and install the Binance application, which you should have done by now anyway, if you've been following the guide, what you wanna do is log into your Binance app, okay? Now, at the top left, you've got the little picture of you hit that and then hit Binance Lite. That's gonna give you the simplified version. Now, the, I wanna show you this, okay? Basically, when you go onto markets, you've got a lot of different cryptos here that you can choose from okay when you hit the middle middle button at the bottom you've got the ability to buy sell deposit and convert so if we hit buy you've now got a choice of all of these different tokens now obviously there are uh, a number of cryptocurrencies here that are top performers they're doing extremely well they're the most popular ones on binance and it's a simplified version of the actual application itself and it just gives you the ability to buy here using fiat okay so fiat is gbp great british pound the euro the us dollar so you can just literally transfer your money into binance into their account make sure you put the reference code on there once you've transferred that money that will be available and you can do a cash purchase for any of these cryptos now the problem is this is limited okay there's about 9,000 cryptocurrencies that you can choose from. And these ones here are only just a little dip in the ocean. So if you're wanting to buy other cryptocurrencies that you've done your due diligence on, you've researched, you've looked into the projects, and you think they're well worthwhile as an investment, you're going to need to purchase them in a different way. So you're going to need to bring it back off of Binance Lite and bring it onto Binance Professional. Okay, now Binance Professional gives you more options. So at the bottom here, when you hit markets, these are the popular pairs that are available. You can also add different favorites and add other pairs as well. And you've got the spot market. Now spot just basically means you're buying at market rate. So you've got a huge amount here to choose from, okay, on spot. And then also underneath spot, you've got BNB. Now, BNB is Binance's own coin. And there are benefits that come with it because the trading fees are lower. So if you were to send your fiat currency into Binance and then purchase BNB, when you come to purchase other cryptocurrencies, it's going to work out cheaper for you. Okay, so if you click on BNB, you'll see all of these different cryptocurrencies that you can choose from. Absolutely loads of them. OK, and you can also look at the BTC market. So these are pairings that are tied to Bitcoin. So, for example, the first one there, ETH slash Bitcoin means Ethereum and Bitcoin. OK, so if I was to click on that top one there, you then presented with a graph. You've got the candlesticks that are underneath the graph. And you've also got your order book, your market history, your margin data. It starts getting a little bit more complicated at this stage, guys. But ultimately, you've got the ability at the bottom there, green button that says buy, red button that says sell. Now, you'll see that there are some numbers at the bottom here. And what they are, are bid prices and ask prices. So what you're actually doing here, rather than buying a cryptocurrency directly from Binance at spot right at the spot price, what you're actually doing is you're placing a bid to purchase an amount of cryptocurrency at a certain price. Now, provided there's someone on the other side that's willing to sell at that price, your order will go through. But you also have the possibility that you might place the order and as the price changes, you might only fulfill part of your order or you might not fulfill any of the order at all. So, one thing to bear in mind is when you're making these purchases, 
have a look at what the going rate is. If you're willing to pay slightly more than what the going rate is, sometimes it's actually better to do that. And the way that you would do that is you would click on the buy button, that will change to this screen here. And you can see there, the large number in the middle that is changing, that's currently got a price of 968, 991, 982. That's the current buy price, okay? so. You would want to keep it as it is where it's the green button says buy just underneath that you've got limits if you hit limit you've got some other options here you've got market you've got stop limit you've also got oco okay but we want to just keep it on limit for the time being and then you type in how much ethereum you want to actually purchase and then what that will actually tell you after you put it in so for example i wanted 0.5 ethereum it will tell me how much bitcoin i would get and then i can hit the buy button sorry how much ethereum i would get and then i would hit the buy button okay now this is going to seem quite consume uh, confusing to some people but the only way you can get access to a lot of these other cryptocurrencies out there is by purchasing them with the corresponding pairs being other cryptocurrencies. For example, Bitcoin is tied to the majority. Ethereum is tied to a huge amount also. So what you're going to need to do is get your fiat currency into Binance and then swap it over to either BNB. So you would buy BNB or you could buy Bitcoin or you could buy Ethereum. So whichever one it is that there is a corresponding trading pair for, that is what you would go for. So to give you an idea, if I hit the trade, but if I come back to uh, market, sorry, let's say that I wanted to purchase with fiat. I've got the option here of all of these that I can buy with fiat. Okay. Now when it's got USDT here, that means I can only buy these with USDT. So again, when you've sent your money in, you would need to purchase USDT to be able to purchase any of these cryptocurrencies within the fiat section. If I hit on alts, sorry, this has just uh, gone to the wrong section. So let's go back and spot. So if I was to touch alts, you've now got alternative currencies to Bitcoin that I can purchase cryptocurrencies with. For example, the top one there is XLM, which is Stellar Lumens, one of the ones that's booming right now. Obviously, it's down 4.24%, but it's up a huge amount, uh, over 60%, I think it was yesterday. So you can buy that with Ethereum, okay? But Bitcoin, you've got the same here, XLM, second one down, you can buy it with Bitcoin. So if I click onto that, I click the buy button, I type in the amount of XLM that I want. So say I wanted 10,000 XLM, I'll put in 10,000. It will tell me there what that's gonna cost me in BTC. So 0 0.0871000, that's how much it's gonna cost me. I would hit the buy XLM button. It would then, where it says open orders, just at the bottom left above uh, where the numerical keypad is, it would show that order there. Now it can be immediately fulfilled if obviously, like I said to you before, you were to change the price slightly. So if I was to look here and change it from 871 to 872 and then quickly hit buy, then the likelihood is that that is going to go straight through. You can see on the left there, as I said earlier, you've got that number changing to 875 at the moment. So if I was to put 878 there, you can see the number matches. I could hit buy. It would go through for me. And it's literally as simple as that. You've also got the option here. You see where it says at the top left, XLM slash BTC. And then you've got minus 5%. If I click onto that, it will bring me up another menu to be able to, again, go to BNB, go to alts, go to fiat, and find the corresponding trading pairs. Okay. Now, it does seem daunting, and the first time that you do it, it is quite scary, but please rest assured, if you have any issues, you can ask us. You can drop in the comments section in our Cryptocurrency Mastermind group and just ask us if you get stuck at any point.